Welcome to GitHub Checkout. Uh, today, I've got a feature for you to check out, and it is auto-merging PRs. So if you've been paying attention to the GitHub change log, uh, you've seen videos and screencasts of all the features we've been shipping, uh, but this is a place where we can actually showcase those features from the people who built them. And uh, speaking of features, Will is here to show us a feature right now. Thanks, Brian. Um, so hey, everyone, my name is Will Smythe. I'm product manager for pull requests at GitHub. Um, one of the biggest productivity killers that we see um, is basically authors and maintainers just waiting for their pull requests to um, be green so that they can merge them. You know, basically sitting there waiting for that final approval or maybe waiting for that final set of CI checks to pass before they can click merge and, and move on with their with the rest of their day. And so we basically built auto merge as a way to kind of avoid that whole process. Once you are ready for your PR to merge, you can enable auto merge. And then once all the, the checks and uh, approvals are in, uh, your pull requests will merge automatically. So it could be you know that night or it could be the next day. You as the author don't have to worry about waiting and pulling and checking to see if everything's ready so that you can click merge. So I'll go ahead and quickly show this. Um, so go ahead and make just a final fix up change to a pull request that I have already open. Um, at this point, I have a pull request. Um, it's already been approved. You know, I just made a minor little tweak to it. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and just enable auto merge on it. You know, normally I'd have to wait for all those CI checks to pass before I could merge it. Uh, now I can just enable auto merge and kind of move on and do something else, knowing that once those checks are, are complete, the pull request will automatically merge. Yep, so there you go. Like I didn't do anything uh, other than enable auto merge. And once those CI checks passed, it you know, automatically merged. Um, if it wasn't able to merge, you know, I would have been able to come back here and, you know, push more commits or disable auto merge if I wanted to and, and push commits, you know, get some other approvals or reviews. Um, but in this case, you know, everything worked exactly the way it should. Wow, that was quick. Uh, and I just have one follow-up question for you, uh, Will. Well, we saw checks, but what other ways can we sort of up have approvals in place for auto merging to kick off in our projects? Yeah, it's really, um, you know, any pull request that has any sort of requirements for merging. So it you know, required reviewers, uh, required status checks are the main ones. Um, and so, you know, if, if you have a process that's only built around required status checks and not approvers, it's, it, auto merge is really going to be triggered then whenever all your, your status checks are completed. Um, alternatively, if your process is really just about getting approvals from one or more people, once those approvals are in and auto merge is enabled, the pull request will merge automatically. Excellent. So folks, check your branch protections and make sure you have approvals set up and enable auto merging today. And if you enjoyed learning about this feature and you want to hear about other features, let us know in the comments below. And even better, stick around and watch the next video.